uh, going to show you our three new modules. So I'm going to start with the Planar 2 down here because we've got this, um, uh, we've got everything on pause right now. I'm going to hit the run on this. And the joystick um, is controlling CB and XY outputs. And there's voltages normal to the inputs here. So we're getting voltages out there. So we have up to six different sources. And what's cool is I'm syncing it to the Metropolis. So I'm going to give it a I can do punching. Yeah, at a, at a pretty high resolution too. So we just kind of got like a noisy patch going, but you have some interesting things you set up, like especially with the shape shifter and morphing, you get very cool sounds. Um, and what's if you if you watch here, I hit record again. I can record this and I can record button presses. So you're going to see playback gates as well as the CD. So that's an, ad an additional source of uh, information. Because this is a digital control of the, the CB, unlike the original planar, <coughs> we also have these special modes for how we process incoming CB. So originally this is Cartesian, like X and Y, but we have a, um, a polar mode. So you can control the angle and the radius so you can get the thing spinning with a simple waveform and then it just becomes like a scanning uh, uh, interpolating scanner so really this is we've, we've tried to make this as versatile as possible you've got VCAs for morphing things you can steer signals other places you can generate CV you can generate gates um, and you can record all this stuff and sync it to a beat or you can have it free running and make loops out of it and then I'm going to turn the wet dry on this down. Just turn this. So the sounds we're hearing are coming from the Morgazotron and the Rubicon. The, the uh, Morgazotron um, is our updated version of the Corgazotron. We spent quite a while revising this design and doing a lot of different iterations of prototypes to get it to sound and work the way we want. So um, let's turn this down a little bit. So everything has been done again, like from the bottom up. But we, the range of the controls, the switching system is totally different, so that there's no bleed between uh, the modes. We added these switches so that you can bypass things and have a full crossfader. You can invert so that you can have a ring mod. And then on this side, there's a distortion circuit. <laughs> that's modeled after a Proco Rat. And if you have the distortion here and you have this in series with the other side, you can create tone control because you can have the distortion and then this side can be the shaping. Um, so for example, let's put this in series. Turn this up. So now that's rolling off the highs on it or you can um, high pass filter it. Or you can put this dry. Now it's a wet dry blend of the distortion. Oh. The distorted, non-distorted. So yeah. And then um, if I turn the inputs off. Both sides will oscillate, of course. It's actually a pretty nice tone. And you can control that with the Q drive. And then over here, we have, um, so I'll just turn these down. Now we can hear this wave, this, uh, the oscillator. So 
we have this, uh, it's an updated of the Rubicon. We made, again, a lot of improvements from the ground up. Um, it's just functions better in all respects. Uh, tracking, um, the range of controls, and how, how it responds to, uh, through Zero FM. And we added some new, new controls to it too, like this warp circuit. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll talk first and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll plug it in and play. But basically, um, by default, you've got your sub that's being warped with this new tri-state pulse wave. And these, the little chunks of the wave push things up or down. And depending on which way you go with this warp control. So uh, we can hear it here. But then you can also process other sounds. So if we put sine wave into this. So we have the sine wave and now we can push out chunks of that. And there's a squish circuit that will limit, it's basically doing some kind of folding to the top of it. tones and then if we just hear the raw through zero basically it. Um, this is ready to go. We're shipping right now. Okay. This will be a two months while we wait for switch parts. And then this one will be in the spring when uh, we do a, another prototype revision. Great. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, you're welcome. 